This is Shelby. You can get some real turtle. Shelby is a box turtle. Over 50 years old. Oh, she's the only one. And box turtles are called box turtles because if somebody tries to eat it, he can pull in his legs, his head, his tail, and with this hinge, close himself up so that he looks just like this. Look at that. He pushes Completely up. enclosed like a shut box or a little tank. And then hardly anybody can eat him. Is he allowed to touch him? No, you can't touch him. Don't I'm sorry. Touch, now, you touch. see the color of his eye? Yeah, the red. That's because in a box turtle, all the males have red eyes. Ooh. All the females have brown eyes. So only in box turtles, you can tell the gender immediately by the color of the eyes. How do you know the turtle is 50 years old? Hmm? How do you know the, the year of the turtle? Uh, because he's been here that long. Oh. <laughs> That's a little bit smaller than we found in the yard. They don't get any bigger than that. And as he walks along, he'll eat anything he sees in front of him. Insects, worms, grubs, snails, mushrooms, berries, grass, moss. They eat a very balanced diet. In the winter time, he'll use these little claws to dig a hole and go to sleep. Because they don't have food to find in the winter time. Wow, thank you very much, sir. This is Cleo. Cleo is a fox snake. Not venomous. It's a squeezer or a constrictor. They're found in Ohio. And unlike the turtle that eats everything, all snakes are strictly meat eaters. Nowhere in the world is there a snake that eats spinach, broccoli, peas, bananas, or strawberries. It's meat, meat, meat. And what kind of meat? Anything they can grab. An insect, a smaller snake, a frog, a toad, bird eggs. These guys climb trees and eat bird eggs. But the favorite fruit, rats and mice. And he finds his prey by smell, and he uses his tongue to smell with. The tongue is constantly flicking out, picking up scent molecules. And when he smells some prey, he's got to get close enough to grab it without being seen or heard because he's not fast enough to catch a running mouse. So it's got to be stealthy, completely quiet, getting closer and closer, flicking out that tongue until he's close enough to rear back and then wham, with a lightning quick strike. Small prey swallows directly, still alive, in one gulp. Larger prey he'll hold with his teeth. He has a mouthful of pointy little teeth and he wraps coils around the body and then squeezes and squeezes and squeezes until the chest cavity is so compressed the animal can't breathe, no brain, no oxygen to the brain and dies. And then he can open his mouth and swallow. And a snake this size can swallow something much larger than itself. A rabbit, for example. Here's a picture of a black rat snake swallowing a rabbit. The head is already inside the body. Pretty soon the whole rabbit is going to be inside. It's just astonishing how, how wide that mouth can open. And then he's got a big lump in his body and he's quite vulnerable. He has to go and hide and take a week or two to digest that meal. We feed them dead mice, which are also larger than his bed is, once or twice a month. Snakes have a very low metabolic rate. They don't maintain a high internal body temperature like we do. So they don't need to eat three times a day. Once or twice a month is enough. It's just 
Thank you. Wow, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming to the museum. Right?